Hi, I'm Ben Wilmore, and right now we're gonna take a look at two particular features in Photoshop, and they are known as Assign Profile and Convert to Profile. I wanna let you know what do they do and how do you think about the two? When would you choose one versus the other? So let's dive in and see how they work. Anytime you create a new document, by going to the File menu and choosing New, there's a setting over here on the right that's important but Adobe hides it by default. It's under here, under Advanced Options. And it's your color profile. This is what you're going to be assigning or converting between. These are known as color spaces. And they define the exact shades of red, green, and blue your image is made out of. In a separate video, I'll kind of explain the difference between them. Uh, but for now, I just want to tell you how to work with two commands related to this. So, it doesn't matter what you're choosing right here at the moment, but there is a choice being made every time you create a new document. And if you're not doing it here in the new dialog box, instead you're opening a RAW file. Well, there's a setting in both Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw that's called Color Profile. So that's what we're talking about when we're assigning and converting profiles. I'm gonna click close though, because I don't need a new file. This image here, I'm gonna figure out what color space it's in. If I go to the lower left of the image, down here in a previous video, I showed you how to get this to tell you your color space, but if you haven't watched that video, you could click here and change this document profile. And if you did, right down there, it will tell you what color space the image is in. That's the color profile. If, when you look down there, you ever see the words untagged, that means that Photoshop doesn't really know what the colors in this image are supposed to look like. So if you ever see the words untagged there, here's what I'd do. I would go to the edit menu and I would choose assign profile. What that means is if the image doesn't have a profile, we need to give it one. So I'll choose assign profile. And in here, I'll go to the bottom most choice. I'll move this over so I can see most of the image. And I would switch between three different choices in here. The choices are sRGB, Adobe RGB, and Pro Photo RGB. In switching between those three choices is gonna change the look of your picture. So when I go to sRGB, the colors are gonna look mellower. When I go to Adobe RGB, they'll look a little bit more vivid. And when I go to Pro Photo, they'll look a lot more vivid. And it's a matter of which one of those three makes the image look most appropriate because the image did not contain enough information to know exactly what the colors are supposed to look like. Now, when you receive an image that is untagged, the most common choice that'll make it look right in here will be sRGB, because that's the most common color space, and anybody that doesn't know enough about color uh, for them to turn on a little checkbox when they're saving their image to include this information with it, they probably have their settings set to sRGB. That's the most common. But don't assume just that that should be used. Like for instance, in this case, it doesn't make the image look its best. In this case, I think Pro Photo makes it look its best. Then if I click OK, in the lower left, if that used to say untagged, it should then change to whatever it is you assigned. Behind the scenes, all the colors in your image are defined out of red, green, and blue. And what we just did is we changed the exact shades of red, green, and blue the image is made out of. And therefore, these numbers suddenly are using different colors. They're using a more vivid version of red if we go to Pro Photo, a less vivid version if we went to sRGB and so on. And therefore, the colors within the image are gonna change. When you choose a sign profile, the numbers that make up the file, that means the numbers that show up in the info panel and the actual data that makes up the image is not actually changing. The only thing is changing is we're telling it to use a different color of red, green, and blue. But then there's something else we could do. Let's say that whatever made it look its best was not what we need. And so if we had that uh, same image, this one here, and for some reason we need it to be in something other than Pro Photo, well, that's when you come up here to the edit menu and you say convert to profile. And this comes up. And up here it tells you what the picture is currently in. And then down here where it says destination space, this means what do you want it to be in? And I'm gonna go to sRGB. 
The settings down here are not usually critical, but you're welcome to change them and see how they affect the image. The image might look slightly different as you move these around, but you might also find that you don't notice much of a change like right now. Uh, but the main thing is you're converting from one color space to another. Let's click OK and then, and then what you see in the lower left should change to reflect the change that you've made. So what did we just do though? Because the image didn't look any different. Well, let's take a look back at this. Remember when we choose a sign profile, we're changing the color of red, green, and blue the image is made out of, but we're not changing the actual numbers that the image is made out of. When on the other hand, we choose convert to profile, then we are changing not only the colors that the image is made out of, but we're also changing the mix, the red, green, and blue numbers that make up our picture in an attempt to make the image look visibly the same, if at all possible. So you could think of this top choice as if somebody gave you measurements for a bookcase and you didn't know if they were in inches, feet, or centimeters. And with assigning it, you're assigning a measurement system, but you're not changing the numbers that those people gave you. When you choose convert to profile, that's like converting between different measurement systems where you know what measurement system you're starting with and you know what measurement system you need. And therefore, if you started in inches and you needed to convert to centimeters, the numbers, the actual measurements that make up whatever it is you're working on, would have changed so that you get the same end result, just measured in a different way. In this case, we're getting the same color. We're just making it out of a slightly different version of red, green, and blue. That's what Convert to Profile does. So anytime you choose a sign profile, Changing between the various choices that are available is going to make your image look different. Just like taking numbers and saying that they're in inches and using the exact same numbers and saying they're in feet would dramatically change the definition of what you're talking about because they would get much larger or smaller. Just like here, it's going to get much more vivid or mellower in color. Whereas if you convert a measurement system, here we're just happening to measure color, then the look of the image should be as consistent as it can be, and the numbers that make it up are gonna change, just like one foot is gonna be converted into uh, 12 inches, if you went from feet to inches. We're trying to maintain consistency using a different measurement system. So when the heck would you want to convert to profile? The most common would be if you opened a picture and you looked in the lower left corner and what you saw there was not one of the common choices of sRGB, Adobe RGB, or Profoto. Instead, it was like the name of a device, like a scanner or a computer screen or something else. And that's because if it's the name of a device, it's probably a less than ideal uh, space to work in where adjustments and filters and things might not produce the results that you expect. But it's rare to really have to do that. Most of the time when you're converting to profile, you don't actually do it from here. Instead, it happens when you're saving your image for the internet. Let's say I choose save for web, for instance. In here, you're gonna notice that there is a choice that's called convert to sRGB. That, the word convert means convert to profile. And it's just a shortcut for going in there. But if you're ever gonna give an image to someone else and that other person is not very versed with color and they might load this image into something like a word processor or a database program, that program might make an assumption about the image and that is that it's made out of sRGB. Turning on this checkbox would convert it to sRGB so the colors would look right if that assumption is ever made. But if you ever do that, or even if you don't, I'd always make sure this checkbox is turned on as well. And that means if I convert it into this space or I don't, regardless, whatever space the image is in would be included with the picture. And therefore, if somebody opened the image, it would never say untagged. So it's a personal choice if you need to convert it to sRGB or not. But that's what that's doing. So in general, if you ever open an image and it says it's untagged, that means the colors might not be looking right on your screen. And if so, go to the edit menu and choose assign profile. Go between the three most common choices, sRGB, Adobe RGB, and Profoto. Whichever one makes the image looks its best, 
Use that one, click OK. Then if you ever look down there in the corner and whatever's there is not what you like to work in for some reason, uh, or it's the name of a device instead of a common name that you're used to hearing down there like sRGB, um, then go up to the edit menu and choose convert to profile instead and convert it into whatever you're used to working in. On a separate video, I'll end up describing the differences between the various choices you have, but for now, I just wanna let you know what does assign profile do and what does convert to profile do and what's the difference between the two. I'm Ben Wilmore and I'll see you next time.